Hi guys, it's Nina Northern Sweden here, and no, I did not film after um, the community day yesterday for several reasons. It was cold, I was freezing, I was hungry, and it didn't go too well, so I was kind of grumpy to be honest. And that's not what I want to feel when I am filming. So we are out walking the dogs. See, someone else has had the same idea just a little while ago. Those are not my footprints. Uh, it's Sunday, October 13th. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let me check. Yeah, and it's about one o'clock. And I wasn't going to go very far, so I didn't take any gloves on. So that was a bad idea. I was just going to go like behind the house and let the dogs pee for a bit and then we were going to make lunch and here I am in the middle of the forest. Come on! And as you can probably tell it's snowing again today. But we have such warmer weather. Hey! Oops! Sorry, getting tangled in the dogs. Arrow, come round. So, uh, we had such warm weather that the snow keeps melting in between. And uh, sorry if it's a bit shaky, but I'm not really good at uh, walking and filming at the same time. It gets a bit bouncy. And the dogs keep stopping all the time. It's so interesting. There's so many new smells. There's dogs, and we just met um, a few minutes before I started filming. We had just met a couple of deers. And I saw some moose tracks and stuff like that. So there's a lot of fun smells out here. Uh, I feel like it's a bit... Uh, the snow is making everything else a bit dark when I'm filming. I don't know if that's what it looks like to you guys. Or if it's just on my display on the phone. So... I just wanted to show you a little bit what it looks like right here, right now. Uh, this used to be my favorite path to walk. Uh, I'm actually going to one of the Pokestops. I'm not going to play though, because I don't have the other phone with me. It needed to... I forgot to charge it. So it was out of battery. So I'm not playing Pokemon Go and I'm not playing Harry Potter or anything like that. For some reason, I can't... They're really <laughs> pulling me at times. Uh, for some reason, I can't log on to my account on my phone anymore. It just can't verify me, and I don't know why. And I try to get help, but every support place that I turn to oops for help oh my goodness they almost pulled me over um almost every I should keep my eyes on where I'm going with all these like grass lumps and it's really uneven here oh hang on uh yeah so uh every support that I turn to the sun oh no it's that people's fault or you know because I can't log on to Pokemon Go on this phone, so I contacted Pokemon Go support. They blame the internet. <laughs> but uh, I tried to log on uh, to my friend's account on this phone and worked perfectly, so it's not the internet. Uh, and just standing on an ant hill. Good dog. <laughs> Thankfully, the ants are sleeping. They actually did that for me this summer too. Oops, don't pee on my dog. Aro. He's hopeless. <laughs> um, he did that this summer. He was standing in an ant hill. And he was like sniffing around. I saw there were some deer tracks around it. But he was standing like with his back legs on, on the ant hill. And the ants were starting, you know, to crawl over him and bite him and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and um took him a while to realize what was going on. Anyway, um, back to the support. 
yeah, so uh, it was definitely not the, in the internet's fault that I couldn't log on and my account couldn't verify. And I had Google verification, so I contacted Google and they told me log in and log out of Google. But I have Huawei, Hua, sorry, I have Huawei phone, Huawei, Huawei, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, because that's what my phone company tells us to buy. It's the cheapest one. So, I bought a Huawei phone in May. And this was happening in June that I couldn't log in. Uh, but since I have a Huawei phone, I have a Huawei ID instead of Google. But, so have Huawei ID... It's like over and then Google under here. So I can't get to my Google account. Uh, and I'm trying to get help on how to do that. So I contacted Huawei support. How do I log in and out of Google? While I have Huawei ID. They told me to log in and out of Huawei ID. I tried that. Did not work at all. So finally it was time for community day and I had to borrow my ex broken phone it's the phone that you see me use lately when I've been playing and we have a little an old uh, barn out there oh I don't know if my I just realized that the sleeves of my jacket are kind of thick and sticking out like this and I think I might have to hold them over my mic, over the mic on the phone, because of course I don't have the the headset with me. So this is what they had in the old days. Usually these were like log cabins. These, this is one that's just made up out of boards. Maybe I should breathe a bit too. <laughs> okay, so they had like little fields out here in the forest and they were making hay and put the hay in there and then during the winter they went with horse and sleigh uh, before snowmobiles and got the hay and took it home uh, of course later on when everything was more modernized they still use these because they uh, didn't have enough rooms at home where the cattle was and he's stuck and I'm getting pulled in both directions. Um, so anyway, so you can find little, like this, little fields in the middle of the forest with usually a timber building out there. And that was for hay. Sometimes it was for the herd of the cattle out in the forest to sort of graze in these areas. So they had like little... Um, Little houses for the cattle and for the herder. Uh, we don't have that much here, but uh, and most of the timber little cottages and houses out in the forest has been taken down and moved into center. I think you see some of them when I was walking around in the community center that we have. We have a few of those buildings there too. And they were used for storage, they were used for hay, they were used for um, when you went out and worked in the woods, you spent the night in some of them and, you know, so there were different types, different sizes, and they were just out in the middle of pretty much nowhere. Okay, so we're closing in on the stop. We got to turn here. Uh -uh, not that. So we're going to turn this way. Here come. I'm trying not to film too much up. I'm sorry. But there are some summer houses back here. And well, I'm not going to show them to you because I don't know what the owners would say. But I can show you the path and I can show you the nature and I can show you the snow and I can show you the doggies. And I love, mm, of course, he has to pee right there. When I wanted to show, hey, move, move your butt. 
So I really like when cheese has been damaged like this. Uh, when I was younger, I was always like imagining that these were deeper and that there was like gnomes and stuff living in here. Um, so I would love to go through, I don't know if you remember the little for forest path, the little wood, uh, woodland area, the forest area that I have behind my house. I would, I'm dying to sort of make a ferry trail there. That people can walk and there will be so little hidden fairy doors and gnomes and stuff like that out there so that's a project for the future hopefully when I get my B&B started that will be one of the interesting things to go and see my little fairy walk and maybe I change it up during Halloween and do a little Halloween walk um, my cheeks are getting really cold right now, and my feet are getting wet, so it's kind of tricky to walk right now, because I'm looking at my phone, and I'm looking at the dogs, and I'm looking around. Unfortunately, I'm talking a bit too much to be able to show you any critters. They are long gone. Any critters apart from those two, but those are family, not not just critters. <sighs> those are my little fur babies, and my jacket is too thick. It was nice when I came out because I was a bit cold, but now that I've been walking, I'm warm. Then the jacket is too thick, but rather that than too thin. I hate being cold. That makes everything start hurting and I don't like that, so yeah. But I get, I don't know, do you get this? You get more winded if you wear too much clothes. I seem to have that. Also, it's really uneven here, so I have to be kind of focused on where I put my feet. Because I am a bit of a klutz. I hope you're not getting too seasick from this little walk here. And of course, it's a, it's a really <laughs> wrong words. Uh, it's a lot shorter to walk on the road to this pocket stop, but you know, it is what it is. But it is the one that I showed you yesterday. Hi, hey, come on, where are you going? There you go. Good girl. Anyway, um, it is the one that I showed you yesterday with the old mill. So I figured let's go there before we have too much snow. Then I won't be able to get down there. So here we're going to go. Whoop. It's a ditch there. And this, oops, come on. You see, they, they they blend in. They have the same color as, like, dead grass. I hope it's not as dark for you that it is for me on the screen. Because the snow is really messing with the settings on my phone. Because the snow is so bright. And this is not a fun place to walk in the summer because it's so wet. But now it's starting to freeze up and it's not as wet anymore. Come on. My doggies are happy. And he's stuck. Come on. So I don't know when he will be going home. Uh, I'm dog sitting him because that's my ex's dog and he's been doing long shifts. And it's busy, ouch, like the beginning of this week. So I'm taking care of this guy. And I got some food from him as a thank you. So that's good. At least I can eat. Um, hey, Aro, come. Only they get a bit too eager for my taste. 
So I'm kind of glad I have them on the belt. Arrow. Arrow. So I think my cousin is in the summer house. Hey, move. Arrow. Arrow. Come. Arrow. Oh. Sorry, he just pulled me into a bush. That's not where I want to be. Okay. Come on. But one thing that has been kind of interesting now that I'm walking these two together so much uh, is they are really different. I keep hearing from people that they look so much alike. I don't see that because she has hanging ears. She has a totally different body shape than he does. He has that like high leg, long legged shape. He's really beautiful. Oh yeah, she's peeing. Uh, <laughs> um, and he has upright ears and stuff like that. Woo, this snow is really bright. Come on. He's hunting mice. That's his goal, to hunt mice. Uh, okay. So we're not too far from the Pokestop and we're back on the road, as you can see. Uh, I like that little forest trail. Soon as will be too much snow for me to walk there, but um, I kind of like it. Come on. What's so interesting? What's so interesting? But, like I said, these two are really different. They are acting so differently when they hunt and they sniff for stuff. She goes face down. And she's like searching the ground. While he head up searching the air um, for smells. That's the way they act. Um, he hunts a lot with his eyes. She doesn't. Of course, she doesn't hear much and doesn't see as well anymore. Oh, my goodness. They're really pulling hard now. We have dogs ahead of us. You can see the tracks. And they're fresh tracks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Arrow, stop. So. Uh, oh, Sorry about this. <laughs> oh yeah, I see the person walking the dogs ahead of me. Okay. So here's the the old bridge I show, tried to show you yesterday. And the dogs are pulling me all over. Oh! Okay. So there's the old bridge. And let's go visit the old mill. Yeah, definitely the dog over there. Two dogs. Okay. So we're gonna turn down here. Oh my goodness, they're pulling on. Arrow. So the way I say his name most of the time and not hers is be simply because she doesn't really hear me. Come. Need some fresh dog pee there. Okay, so the first word here. Oh my goodness. There are pulling all over the place. Come on. Okay. Stanna. Bra. Okay, so this word here, Neveriyoki. It's the name of the of this brook, this stream that goes down here. And kvarn means mill. And he's walking around me. I'm sorry. Well, doing this with the dogs was not a good idea. But they need to walk. Okay. And down here it says water. Um, not driven. Hang on. What's the word I'm looking for? Water propelled circle saw. I guess you can call it. Come on. Wrong side. Wrong side. Thank you. Thank you. And we're twisted. Twisted. Okay. She hears me if I go like high pitched, like if I go light sounds, she can hear really well. 
but I really have to scream because her hearing is off. But come on, she's turning 18 in February, so can't really, come on, um, can't really complain. So she's 17 and a bit more than a half. Too tired to do math. Haven't had lunch, had just had my coffee and it's over one o'clock. So. so, um, let me think how we're going to do this. Okay, let's go down here first. It's downhill, it's a bit slippery, so I'm going to do this carefully. As so carefully, oh, as I can with the dog pulling me. So, I'm not going to be able to walk across there because that bridge last time was really wonky. Okay, but I can go out here and show something to you. Hey, Stana! Stana! Okay, so this little uh, ditch here is where they took water from the stream to propel the mill. Uh, so they have the closure up there. You can see it right there. Oops, don't. Yeah, that would be great. They almost pulled me down there. Um, and then you have for the sawmill, you have the opening right there. So you dam off the stream there. You have an opening and let the water go through down to the sawmill. And this is the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm saying ditch, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, that goes down into the mill. Come on. Come on. Hat. Hat. Roca. Oop. Okay. I'm glad there's small trees here so I can pull the leashes on top of them because pulling them back and forth. They're so eager because we're walking in a place where we don't walk too much. So they got, they're like all over the place. They don't have time to listen. They don't have time to, you know, they're just too busy taking stuff in. So this is a uniberry bush and there's a lot of uniberries on it. They're just not ripe. Uh, uniberries, when they're ripe, they are dark blue, almost black. Uh, not quite. They are, they are more blue than black, but that's when they're ripe. So I haven't been down here in a while, but I think we can go over here. Roca! Oh my goodness. Always on the other side of everything. Usually I just say walk around. Oh, we have a dead tree in the middle of the tra trail here. Um, shall we go on the other side? Or shall I try to get over here? Let's try and walk over here. It's kind of steep. There's a rock and stana. Try and get some support when I go down. So, duktig rocka, bra. Nej, arro. Of course, you had to go walk another way. It is pulling. Arro, go to box. Go to box. Arro. Nej, go to box. Bra. Backa. Bra. Så, duktig kille. And he walks. So, yeah, bra. And of course, you had to walk around and not to push. Sorry. <laughs> so, this is where the water would have come and gone into the mill. In there. Rocka. And let's see if we can get over here. This little snow makes it really slippery. And Dogs are getting stuck everywhere. So, as you can see, the snow has completely smashed. And... Aro, bakka. Bakka, bra. Okay, he's listening again. Good dog. Uh, so, as you can see, the snow has completely crashed the sawmill here. Which is unfortunate. They also, apart from just making, like, regular planks and stuff like that here. I mean, this is so sad. We need people and we need money to fix this. They built this, I mean, it feels like yesterday, but it's probably like 10 years ago. 
So they just rebuilt the old mill and just feels sad. They also made like these wood shingles that you used to have on the roofs in the past. And this is the old mill. When I was a little, this was, I'm going to see if it's still available to open. I'm not sure. When I was little, we used to hide in here, me and my cousin. No, they changed a lot of stuff here. Oh, and I can't even open the door anymore. Let's see if we can put the light on. Hang on. Yeah, there we have it. And my dog is stuck again. Sorry about that. So we used to, yeah, we still have uh, some writing. There used to be a lot more writing on the walls here. Uh, I think most of the writing is actually on top here. That's where we used to... Aro, que coma? Aro, que coma? Come here. Come here. Come here. He's usually afraid of everything that's new, so just getting him in here is kind of fun. And someone hasn't been thinking. They put this to lean on glass. How smart is that? Look at that. So uh, I'm going to be a bit careful with the dogs here. So, sorry. So there you have the, the millstones. The water will come in through here and make the millstones work. Like spin. And on top of there, there's a hatch on the other side where they took the flower bags in, the grain bags, I mean, in there and pour the grain down in this little thing. Uh, now I have the dogs with me, so I don't think I can go up. Maybe I can just get up enough to show you the upstairs. Hey! Come. Come. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. Sorry, he's pulling me out. He doesn't like being in here, so let's see. Oh! An old wasp nest. This started one. I don't know how far I can get with the dogs pulling me out. But, oh! This is where me and my cousin and some of my friends we used to be. But that was before they made the new roof and before they made the old, uh, the new um, opening there. It used to be all open. So we actually had sleeping bags and we used to go here and sleep. You know, a little hideout from parents and stuff and there used to be a lot of writing but when they tore the roof down all the writing was gone there was a lot of you know people written with charcoal put the dates in and there was like really old dates uh, so that's where you would put the grain in uh, to to grind it up into flour no oh, let's go down again I only got two steps up, but because this guy kept pulling. Oh, he looks so miserable. Mommy, I don't want to go in there. 1897. Here's a little bit of date, but as you can see, they put new stuff up and sanded and fixed it. So a lot of the old stuff is gone. 1915. Uh, stuff like that. So it's kind of sad that all the writing is gone. And these are to, uh, that front part is less loose, so you sort of whip the, there's another wasp nest up there. You used to whip the, um, the grain stems to get the grains out. Called Treska in Swedish. I don't know the word in English. Should probably have to look stuff like that up. So, um, that was pretty much it. We can go down to the river a little bit here if I'm I'm not too tangled in with the dogs. I am. So okay, now we spun around instead of pulling the dogs around. Usually they're pretty good. I just t tell them to go back or um, go around, and they do it. Uh, they're pretty good at it. So this is where the water ex excess water when you have the mill going, the sawmill going, comes out here. And goes down this little barrel here. Apparently, Roca is frozen. Roca! And <laughs> I'm honestly a bit worried that they will pull me in. Because um, it, like I said, it's kind of slippery and it's kind of tricky. Not the easiest terrain to walk. 
But I just wanted to go up here so I can show you a little bit more. But yeah. So that's the big island. We have a huge island. And it's that one right there. We have these little small islands too in the river, but that's the main one. Um, there's usually a lot of pike in this little area here. And it's not too far from here that I got the pike this summer from the pike fishing competition. So yeah. So now I finally showed you the mill and the sawmill and it's not much to see and you got to see a little bit of my nature and you got to see the dogs a bit. So uh, I'm going to put the phone down and I'm going to focus on the dog and we hopefully get a little bit more fun walk home. Fun both for me and the dogs because now he's wrapped around the bush. <laughs> <laughs> and she is wrapped around me. I have her around like that. So I'm not going to go swimming. I saw a friend of mine in the south of Sweden. She was swimming, I think it was yesterday. I am not going to do that for some reason. For some reason, I find all the snow and the ice kind of deters me. I, I do not feel the need to go swimming. So we are going to go head home and have some lunch. Actually, they are going to have some breakfast. And I mainly just had breakfast for lunch. So I guess we start with a, with a breakfast because I don't think I can wait until I cooked something. But we're gonna use the road home instead of walking through the forest. If I can get the dogs out here. But so many fun smells. Come on. Come. So I'm gonna say goodbye now and hope you guys have a great day and that your feet are a lot more dry than mine are. My feet are completely wet. So, another reason to go home, to dry my feet. Come on. And these guys keep getting stuck. Everything smells so great. Everything smells so good. But this is what I mean with like old time log. This is what the log homes um, was built like. Now this is a mill, but the same technique was used to build like homes and the barns and a lot of that stuff. So, uh, hopefully I can come back to this if they get money and people to fix it. And hopefully they get, can get it started. They actually used it a little bit for demonstrational purposes and stuff, but then snow just came and ruined the whole thing. Uh, we get a lot of snow in the winter, so everything just gets smushed. Um, come, come, and uh, it's kind of sad, kind of sad with this, oops, I'm not going to fall, I hope, okay, so, um, see if we can take a little peek, hey, Aro, the box, uh, under here, no, but this is the trough where the water goes through the whole way. That I don't know why they put the roof on actually. I don't think that was there originally. Uh, I don't quite remember. I remember seeing the, the original plant for the mill. Uh, it used to be on the other side of the brook actually, but they wanted them both on the same side so it would be easier to visit them okay now I'm in trouble so I have a steep ditch there and I know that bridge is messed up so I might have to go the whole way back again hi hi so thank you. <sighs> but I just wanted to go out and it's not too slippery so I'm kind of holding them shorter makes it easier to steer them but both of these dogs grew up without any 
like knowledge of the leash at walking leash when I got her she was about six between five and seven years old so I say she's six when I got her and she hadn't been on a leash more than a few weeks when I got her and that guy is also not used to it so um, I think they're doing okay I mean she's a lot older now but I usually have her loose a lot so so this is where they close off to let the water build up so it will be enough water to run the mill and and the saw <sighs> uh, they've done something here something looks different I just can't put my finger on it but something is going on I see that and there's something looking a bit off here but like I said I can't really put my finger on it and in the spring the water levels are a lot higher than they are now um, I'm still confused I'm trying to figure out what they've done but they've done something so uh, I see I've been blabbing for 36 minutes at the moment so I'm gonna let you guys go up there is the road you can see it right there there's the road and I have to figure out how to get over here because this bridge last I walked on it it was not quite safe and I'm wrapped in the leash again. Aro, clear off. Trying to get him to step over. Aro. Toot toot. So, thank you. Uh, I don't know if I want to walk over here. Last time it was kind of. Ah, uh, you know what? Just take a chance. You have fall down. Oh my god, it's wobbly. It's wobbly and you can see it, it has started to rot there's a hole there and it was just like this and it's a hole there because it started to rot but anyway we got over so we're soon up on the road and i'm gonna head home because i'm hungry hungry so may your feet be dry <laughs> not like mine and hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye bye